Hello, dear all. Uh, we are telling you a new webinar about escape room trade shows. Uh, today, I'm going to tell you our own experience about uh, trade shows concerning escape rooms uh, in USA, in Germany, in Netherlands, in Poland. And I guess that's all huge escape room shows. So for all of you who are interested in escape room shows and in escape room uh, business as it is, uh, today we're going to speak about it. Uh, so let's start. Uh, escape room trade shows, overview of worldwide events. Uh, so we're going to tell you our real practice, uh, how we attended uh, these shows. And I'm going to tell you about five events. Uh, two of them are in USA, one of them in Netherlands, one in Poland, and one in Germany. Uh, so, as you know, escape room industry started uh, to be worldwide in 2015, maybe in 2014, but uh, in 2016, uh, the majority of countries uh, understood that this is a huge market, that everybody loves escape rooms, and uh, five biggest escape room shows appeared on the market and I will tell you our practice about them. So let's start with Transworld, Halloween and Attraction Show. Why I started with it? Because it's one of the biggest uh, escape room shows in USA. Uh, it was combined uh, with Halloween attractions. So I don't know really why they did it, but I think because, uh, just a second. Okay, uh, so I have some troubles with presentation. So is this working like this? Yes, okay. So, uh, so in 2016, uh, Trans World combined uh, Halloween and escape rooms. Uh, we attended uh, 2017's and 2018's show in St. Louis. Uh, I must say that this is the biggest show because it was combined with uh, Halloween and Halloween is really popular in US in USA. And uh, I all also must say that Halloween is just a huge, cool, and high level, um, the highest level all over the world. That's why it may be interesting for you to check um, these shows. So we are trying, and uh, we are testing the new system for uh, webinars. And uh, as I understand, we have some small problems with the window on our left and I hope it works now without any effects. So let's move on. Um, so as I told you, this show is in uh, American city, St. Louis. And um, pricing information about the show. Uh, so the booth for 20 to 30 feet cost 1,600 US there. Um, this is just a space. You're not getting anything else. So just a space and you need to pay extra for the electricity, pay extra for furniture, for everything you need there. You can rent it or you can bring it yourself. Also, you can buy uh, a small 10 to 10 feet uh, space that will cost you 850 
USD dollars, and it will include wall table, walls table, and two chairs. Uh, for visitors, uh, the tickets cost about fifty US, fifty dollars. And also, what is important for you to know is that all webinars that are uh, like going uh, two, three days of this show are you, you need to, to buy tickets for them. So uh, include these costs into your uh, plan. But um, concerning these webinars, and everybody is asking me if we should attend this webinar uh, or like we should what what topics we should pick what uh, speakers we should listen so it's a good question and i don't really have an answer for this all i can tell you is that on these webinars um, speakers are not just sharing their experience but of course promoting their companies uh, as they can do it but still they are providing you a lot of useful information maybe the same information you already know but they give it uh, on this information with a different angle and it may help you to reconsider some of the ideas they're speaking about so i i should say that you have to go to these webinars if you're attending the show but you should pick the speakers and uh, the topics you are going to carefully because a lot of uh, companies are just giving promotion, 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 and promotion of their services and that's it. So be very careful about that. So about useful tips. Uh, so these tips are more for the owners who are going to attend uh, escape room shows. Uh, for example, St. Louis uh, Ha Show uh, is ha held in a huge mm, dome and um, there is a company that um, helps exhibitors to carry things inside of this uh, place. Uh, the, company is, the company name is Heritage. Uh, we have a really uh, wonderful experience with them. <laughs> why it was wonderful because we brought uh, both of the both of uh, in 2017 and 2018 we brought a huge uh, two crates uh, you can even see them on the pictures and uh, the funniest thing is that uh, we brought a car uh, that came to this uh, facility and heritage uh, took care of it so they unload it and bring it to our booth place and charged us like three thousand dollars for 15 minutes work and i must say it's too much and it doesn't worth it uh and the key is the tip for you as an owner of uh, like some company who is going to attend this show uh, what you have to do you don't need to use their um, the services if you don't want to pay so much what you have to do you have to hire some company with a truck that has uh, unloading uh, how to say unloading crane on 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 it and you can bring your car inside of this facility unload uh, your goods and it will only cost you as i remember 300 uh three hundred dollars just to get in this facility and you won't pay the heritage the enormous uh, huge amount of money also uh, um, i can tell you that uh, on the picture on your right you can see rich bianco uh, rich bianco who is in charge of this show and he is always willing to help with anything you can uh, face uh, while attending the show. So he helps a lot. Thank you, Rich. It was a pleasure to meet you and to use your help. 
he didn't help with heritage though, but he doesn't have any influence on them. So be careful. Heritage is charging enormously huge amount of money. Also, uh, there was a company that supplies you with electricity and um, you also have to take in account that you will need to pay them approximately four or five, six hundred dollars for power supply. Uh, that's the example what we brought last time. Um, and everybody is keep on asking me how, uh, like how and what other companies brought to the show. Um, so twice I attended this show, I was watching what others brought to the show. And you can see a lot of uh, trailers with escape rooms in them in this show. Also, you can find a lot of companies that offers some um, puzzles, gadgets, separate puzzles, separate gadgets. And uh, it's not so often that company offers ready to play escape rooms like we do, but still you can find a lot of useful stuff. You can talk to a lot of uh, owners, a lot of like booking companies, VR companies and different um, suppliers for escape rooms. So if you have doubts whether I should go to the show or not, I will definitely tell you that you have to go. You have to attend the shows. If you're in this market, they show a lot of useful and new products and information. Uh, yeah, so let's move on. The second show is Room Escape uh, Conference and Tour, also held by Transworld. Uh, so this show I attended only once myself. This year it's going to be in Nashville. Uh, I'm not going to be there, but our company got a booth, so you can come and take our catalogs and uh, even even make some pictures for discounts. <laughs> but let's talk about uh, the show itself. So the first time we attended the show in Chicago, it was 2016. Uh, it was just the beginning of uh, the whole industry, so the show was pretty small, not a lot of companies uh, was there, a lot of booking, a lot of uh, some uh, insurance companies and uh, like some small puzzles, but I know it for sure that uh, last year and this year it will be much bigger. A lot more, uh, a lot more companies will attend the show. A lot of new webinar uh, seminars that will be in the show. Also, the entrance, uh, the entrance to the show will cost approximately the same amount as on the previous one. Also, the heritage uh, company will take care of your goods, so be careful with them. You can not influence them at all, so be prepared. Um, so pretty same escape room show, but without Halloween. So only escape room companies will attend there. Uh, if you're interested in escape rooms, you should go there as well. But uh, also a lot of people are asking me if we were in St. Louis, should we go to this one? and attend this show as well. Uh, it's really hard to answer to this question, but uh, there are a lot of new webinars, so they will provide you a lot of new information. And only one problem with these two shows that one is held in March and the other one held in July and not a lot of time between them. So you can honestly pick one and go to one uh, show which one is up to you to decide. Both of them are good. Both of them has a lot of companies uh, for escape rooms. So it's up to you to decide. But these two shows are best for USA citizens. Um, so it's really hard to compare them. One of the shows has uh, Halloween fractions, other one doesn't. But 
they are all mostly the same shows, the same companies attend them. I mean, local companies like Evolutions, uh, well, I don't know, a lot of others. <laughs> I just love Evolutions most. That's why I remember that. Uh, so have fun uh, attending all of them. They are all good. So the next one is European show. Uh, it's called Up the Game. It's held in, uh, not in Amsterdam, but in uh, Netherlands. Uh, so in 2016, the first show was held. It was in Amsterdam. There was no demonstrations. There was no booths. There were only seminars at the show. And it was like, I don't know, five or six hours show. And uh, they reconsidered it in 2017 and 18. Um, this year, the show was in Breda, in an old prison dome. Um, after that show, there was like a huge escape game in the same prison. Really cool. In 2017, there were like 12 companies and seminars. But in 2018, they made it bigger. They made it for two days uh, with lots of seminars, with lots of like activities, like parties, mixtures. And uh, I can tell you that uh, Up The Game is one of the biggest uh, escape room shows in Europe. Uh, so about some interesting facts about them. So pricing, yeah, the pricing is terrible. Uh, it's, it costs a lot for exhibitors. It's 2,500 euros for one table and two chairs. In 2017, it was really funny when uh, like half a year before the show, I started texting them that we want to rent a booth. They were telling me, yes, yes, tomorrow, next week. And at the end, they didn't give me any space. They said no space left. So the bad organization was in 2017. In 2018, they fixed it. They changed the team. It was much better level. Uh, very friendly, very helpful. But still, the unloading uh, in the prison was pretty tough. Uh, for visitors, as the tickets for two days, imagine two uh, for two days, you're paying 450 euros. But uh, comparing to uh, USA, you're not paying for webinars, so they are included in these tickets. Also, you can get some food and some drinks uh, for free. It's also included. Uh, and uh, yeah. Concerning the hotels where you should stay for like while the show is on, uh, you can pick the closest to the show. Usually on websites of the shows, they supply you or they give you some discounts for the closest hotels. But you all know like Booking.com, you can use it to find hotel that fits you most. Uh, it's uh, so, for example, if you're going to Breda, you can pick the hotel in Breda and, uh, from Amsterdam to Breda, there is a train that goes like one hour or 40 minutes, pretty cheap and fast. So, uh, this show is one of the biggest in Europe. So for all European companies and uh, European owners. I totally recommend you to to take part of this in the show to come to listen to the webinars and to some practices for advices and check what uh, producers offers you. That's some um, pictures that you can check from this year's show. Uh, yeah, nothing to discuss about it. Let's talk about next show. Uh, the show is held in Wroclaw in Poland. Mm, it was first time it was in 2017. It was one day show, but also with the show they held uh, 
finals of the Poland escape competition where like I don't know I don't really remember 10 teams were took part of, of this finals they had to escape in 20 minutes games that we built in this show it was Maya room also was like car escape and some like kind of a city escape game also there are webinars uh, seminars there they are all free um for exhibitors the prices are pretty low you can see them as there were around 30 companies but most of them brought just separate puzzles um so for visitors there were it was free so approximately 800 participants were in this show and uh what can I say comparing this show to others? Because if tickets are free, there were a lot of uh, people who wasn't an owner itself. It, he was like an uh, enthusiast of escape rooms and that's why they came there. So comparing this show to others, I, I can say that other shows are more, uh, how to say, are more into markets. They're not offering just random people to come and to check what the hell escape rooms are but still really good show a lot of um companies and uh at visitors from poland uh, norway uh Tallinn and close to poland countries czech republic uh, came to the show not all of these people going to Netherlands show. So I can recommend you to go to both uh, shows if you are escape room owner or if you're, of course, escape room producer. Both of the shows will help you. That's uh, the example of 20 minutes game Maya on your right and on your left is the room we brought to the show, Jungle Room. So we showed the whole set for this room. Um, so yeah, you have to, to understand that I'm talking about the biggest shows we had uh, or we have in, in the industry. I'm not talking about some mixtures or, you know, for example, in Norway, they had some conference where they invite 10 companies who own escape rooms. I'm not talking about these shows. I'm talking about the biggest ones. So uh, there is one show in Germany. I'm not sure they're going to make it a uh, third time, not second time, as it is said here. Uh, so the problem with this show is uh, they are doing it in German. So only German people can come and participate because, or like German speaking, uh, participants uh, so there are seminars and there are not as much uh, booths in this show so basically you can come you can check some companies but uh, comparing to other shows this is much smaller and much more uh, local shows for German guys uh, so if you have any questions about uh, escape room shows, about webinars, about seminars on the show or about some practices or some questions you want to ask me about the shows, our experience, you can text, you can, uh, I don't know, call and I will try to help you with all the answers. Uh, what I want to add, uh, when you're going to some show whether it's in Netherlands in the US or in Germany I totally recommend you to I totally recommend you to go and check local escape rooms because even myself who already played I don't know 400 escape rooms every time I go to a new city I'm trying to visit the best uh, escape room in this area and I can tell you that most of the time I have a nice cool modern up-to-date game 
uh, in the area. And it's a cool and a very useful experience to play escape rooms in different cities, in different countries. So thank you for watching. Uh, it was a webinar about escape room shows. Uh, so four biggest escape or five biggest escape room shows in USA and Europe. Uh, so if you have any questions, please text me. I will try to answer them all. Thank you. Bye-bye.